Hi guys, it's Chris at Cork and Crown, back in my cider shed with some more cider to try. And we are going to try some cider today. <laughs> Not perry, cider, but more specifically, cidre, pédoge, cidre, pédoge, from the Manoir du Grand Oué in Normandy. I uh, picked this up in France, already did the perry tasting in the last film, the Dom Front de Poiré, which we liked very much. Um, and this is the 2022 Cuvée Reserve. Sorry, pardon me, 2020 Cuvée Reserve. Uh, pardon me, I was reading this bit because he obviously got a gold medal in 2022. Um, yeah, probably for this, I assume. Yeah, must be for this. It's bio, bio meaning um, organic. Uh, yeah, we've had some stuff from these guys before when I was in France last year. I brought some stuff back from these guys, but not this one. This seems to be a little fancier. So let's open it. We love French ciders. We love Normandy ciders. We love Brittany ciders. But Pédoge was the thing that got me into ciders in the first place. Uh, let me think when I was working in New York. Who was it? It was uh, Dupont. The Dupont stuff and Huey as well. Those two guys. I like very much indeed. And that's when I drank cider. That wasn't Woodpecker or Strongbow or something from a three litre bottle. Like the stuff I drank as a teenager that made me sick, which lots of people in this country seem to do, and then go, cider is terrible, because they associate it with that crap stuff that they have when they're a teenager or a student that makes them sick. I did it as well. And I had a light bulb moment, I had a revelation, and it was paid those ciders that gave me that revelation. So, let's open this up. Uh, Going to be pet nap. Nice pop. Smoking gun. Obvs. Obvs. Sorry, selling glass. Let's pour it out. I mean, already you can see it's a nice colour. Oh, look at the moose. Look at the moose on that. Look at the moose on that. That is a nice moose. That's looking good. Colour-wise, wonderful. Moose-wise, moose -wise, wonderful. Yeah, moose-wise, wonderful. <laughs> you know what I mean. Look at that. Fine bubbles. Lovely looking thing. Um, Nice colour. So, it is an amber. It's a light amber. Mm, sort of Tizer-ish, I want to say. Not quite as dark as Tizer, possibly. It might like a, like a light iron brew, let's say. Um, looks great. Uh, any hairs in that? Any hairs? Oh, it's pretty bright, actually, that. It's pretty bright. Pretty bright, yeah. Nice looking thing. Gorgeous fine bubbles rising to the surface. Expectations are high. What's the ABV on you, my friend? 4.5%. Wonderful. So some of the... the, the They've been making stuff at this place for quite a long time. Apparently some of the barrels age back to the 18th century, like 1750 or whatever. So yeah, as with most cider makers though, in Normandy, they don't think of themselves as cider makers. They think of themselves as Calvados producers, cider brandy makers. But the cider is just like a thing they do on the side. Whereas for me, I mean, I like a good Calvados. But given the choice between great cider and great Calvados, I'd have great cider. Because you can drink a lot more of it. I did buy a litre bottle of it on the ferry on the way back for £18.50. It's only three years old. <clears throat> anyway, let's smell this sucker. Nice nose. For a second there, I thought it smelled corked, which isn't something I really get inside very much. I thought it smelled corked. I now think it doesn't smell cork, but it does smell of a wonderful baked apple. I mean, that's the thing I want from my um, nobody ciders. That baked apple character, that ta ta tan character. And it's there. It's absolutely there. Hints of stone fruit as well. It's great. Yeah. I love the nose on this stuff. This sort of stuff. I love it. Oh God, I could smell it for days. It's great. It's great. It smells like a fab Normandy cider. If you're into Normandy ciders, Pedro ciders, this smells like it's gonna. Oh, seems to be some sort of armed warfare going off in southeast London. Not for the first time. I try to ignore that and concentrate on cider. That's what I'm gonna do. Um, yeah, it smells great. Let's taste it. Mm. 
nice flying bubbles. Not as much as there was in the Poiré, the Perry. We had the Domfond. Quite a lot of residual sugar, uh, but this is only four point. This is four point five. So one would expect to have that residual sugar. Low acid. Um, ooh. Hint of sort of caramel. Hint of toffee apple about it, but not aggressive green sort of Granny Smith. I mean, basically with with toffee apples. I think they just used Granny Smith, didn't they? So that that really sharp apple in the middle, crisp acid against that sort of like sweet sugary toffee on the outside. This has suggestions of that. Uh, actually, it's almost like a molasses rum character coming in right at the back there, which is very nice. This has got some sweetness to it, um, <clears throat> but I expect that in these things. This would be um, classed as well, not not mm, 4.5. Is it 4.5 or 5? But it turns to brute. I can't remember. It's done by alcohol level and not sugar content. It's a bit bizarre. It's a bit confusing if you're British. <coughs> But um, I think it's probably going to be classed as brew, but forget brew, it's got loads of sugar, but it's natural apple sugars. Mm. Oh. Yeah. And actually, there is just the merest hint of acidity, just the merest threat, very subtle tannins. But other things, my mouth feeling sticky, like I've had some toffee or something. Because it feels like I've had some, like, it's like melted sugar product. It's almost like stickiness, man. It's very subtle. It's great. I mean, what can you say? What can you say about this? It's just top notch. It's top notch. Cidre Pédoge from Manoir de Grandouet. The cover is a 2020. Me like. Me has a sweet tooth, though. So me likes this sort of thing. If you like your dry Somerset ciders, don't buy any of this. Don't pay any of this, you ain't going to like it. If you like apple desserts, if you like normally ciders, you are going to like this. Get something like this, if not this. So there we go. Got a lot more ciders to try, though, from France. Bought quite a few back. And some new vintages from um, England as well to try. So we're going to mix it up a bit. Maybe I'll open what two together to see how they compare and contrast. Anyway, thank you for joining me back in my cider shed. I hope you join me again. But until that time, cheers.